Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 9 and 10 of Sugar Apple Fairy Tales. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. This is nine months later. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm? <laughs> well, that's my <messed> up. <laughs> on. <laughs> and had that loving embrace? <laughs> huh? No, 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 no. True, but yeah. I mean, it was a good way to say hello. At least you didn't get hurt. Right? No what? Mhm. Mm Hmm? Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> mm hmm Done a lot of experiences. Huh? 
Oh no. <laughs> we'll be able to use them. And let me guess, Jonas is there. He has to be there. He's the antagonist. That's really messed up that the only way that she can enter is just going to the school, but... <sighs> Damn. If she only had a known, then yeah, but now she knows now, which is too freaking late, and it changes everything. All right, let's go. And there he is. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> you had a problem with that?
Not only her. This bullshit. <laughs> I love how we're just seeing his mouth and not his eyes. Like the whole face. Oh, never mind. He's so pretty. <laughs> All the guys in this series, even Jonas, are pretty. So? It shouldn't matter. Right? Uh, <laughs> no. Sir, you, you can't say that. Stop. It, it is eight in the morning. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> of course, I'm a girl. Baby is up at the butt crack of dawn. I mean, I shouldn't really be talking. I just woke up like almost an hour ago. <laughs> Do you want to put it down?
<clears throat> oh, she's so pretty. Aw. Mm. It's messed up that both of their parents died, especially when it's just them. Mm. True. So you wanted to almost like be more than your father's name and such because that comes with a lot of pressure. And I think if anybody else also knew about Anne, that would be the same thing for her. And that you only won because you're the Viscount's son. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He seems very kind. I don't know if Keith has more intentions and such. So hopefully Shadow comes back in one piece. Ooh, say it again. Say it again. Mm.
Yeah, he seems really kind and such. He doesn't seem like someone like Jonas who would literally try to like misuse her and upstage her. But remember, this is a competition regardless. So everyone's going to do something in their power, you know, all to win. Whether it's to lie, cheat, sneak around-ish. But it is messed up that she found out all about this information about the sugar apples very late and i get it like yes they you know i would love for keith to be like oh hey here share my half with you but it ain't gonna be that easy let's just say that because someone's gonna come in and be like hey i, I can't share you gotta have your own. And it's messed up. Now, here's the other thing. The fact that everybody is freaking out like, oh, hey, because she's the only chick who is here. I mean, yeah, if you really pretty much look at every um, art artician, it is all males. This is a male dominant situation. And yeah, she's the only female coming in. And so yeah, that puts a lot of pressure on her because she's the only freaking girl in this show who is doing this, but because she is doing it, because she loves it besides her mom, she's paving the way for all these other little girls, teenagers, whatever, who also want to do the same thing. And I like that. Oh, her eyes are pretty too. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me by the end of this series when we get into season two, or what I like to call the second half of season one, where there's more girls going into this and wanting to also be sugar confectionery artisans and stuff. And I think that'll be really interesting and such. But yeah, Keith seems like a light, a, a, a light, nice guy. Jonas, I, I cannot believe he's here again, but I really shouldn't be surprised. It was kind of a little obvious that we were going to see him today. I just didn't want to see him because, ugh. He's like that one antagonist who will never go away <laughs> despite like everything you do to defeat him to make him go away he's like a boomerang he always comes back and i'm just like what are we gonna get enough of you when are we getting someone else and such i mean <sighs> like him though I will say that. I still like him, though. But I'm still very torn with, like, everything John Jonas has done. So, on. And so, it's like, how can I like you, but you did all this to this girl? Like, the best girl of the dang series. Like, what the heck is wrong with you? But we'll see how this concludes maybe in the next episode. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode 10. Okay. Episode 10 in 3, 2, one, go.
<laughs> it's like Master Chef in a nutshell. You're the only one. Oh, and so because, mm hmm. Ah. So they're making that almost very similar to the Bible with the story of Adam and Eve. <laughs> and not everyone wants to give her dirty looks. God, screw y'all. Oh. Mm. Oh, you look cute. No, no, not you. <laughs> no. You got this, though. Oh, so you're like a, not not a Ken. <laughs> you're a, um. Oh my God, what is his name? He, he's kind of like a Ken, but um. 
I don't remember the other, the other character's name from the Barbie movie. Mm. All the dirty looks. I mean, y'all gonna be like this for the whole freaking series? <laughs> Chatting with you is not work. <laughs> But damn. I, <laughs> I know that feeling, baby. She might not get anything. <laughs> no, you, you you fell in love with him too. Undo that spell. Me too. Episode one did it all. staring
No. No. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's too much. <laughs> Did you just punch her? What the hell is wrong with you? No, baby. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. It's really beautiful.
with the girl again. She gonna ask one more time. Bridget, you can't immediately fall in love with him and want to be with him. Yeah, but it's nothing. Nothing. Uh huh? Just the jealousy. Okay, so Bridget, <clears throat> I like her. I just don't like how she's doing-ish. Now, the fact is that first, Un saw Shadow and Bridget talking. Then Shadow sees Keith and Un together. Both of the baby's hearts, they, they upset. They both upset with each other. They don't know how to feel right now. It's a lot of little bits of jealousies and upsets and everything else all at once. And I don't know how to handle it for these two. I feel bad for them both because both of them have like little broken hearts right now. And someone else is kind of there to pick up the pieces. Now, do I think Bridget really is going to be that desperate to try to still shed his wing? Yes. <laughs> this girl. <laughs> she said she's never been in love with with anyone before. But when she first saw Shadow, she immediately knew what love was and immediately fell in love with him. So come on now. Yes, love makes you do really crazy vast, sometimes even dangerous things. But, you know, at the end of the day, sometimes it is worth it. But, yeah, I think she is desperate enough to steal the day away. <laughs> I honestly don't want her to. But, girl is going to do everything. She, she wants to make him hers. And the fact is, with their first moment, or no, like, let's say they had a total of like four moments in this episode, I believe. So the moment when he came, the first moment when he came in and got the plate from on, asked for food, she gave him food.
that was sweet, but you could tell right then and there she fell in love with him. And I get it, because like I said, for episode one was for me. I think pretty much everybody fell in love with each other, like, by the end of episode one and such. And with this, because she's now first seeing him and everything, she's like, oh my god, like, this man is gorgeous. But she's, he's attached to the hip, to aunt, to on. Which makes the most sense because they are a couple without saying that they're a couple because they're they've been together for a long time for almost like a year. So regardless, they're always going to be together as one. Now my thing is <laughs> once again, is she very desperate to still this <laughs> very the wing? Yes. She will literally do everything in her power to steal this man's wing. Now, my other question is, is it still around On's neck? Because we haven't seen it. Or is it somewhere else? Now, does she, because I don't think she gave it to him when he, when she sent him away in the previous episode. So who really knows? But whatever the heck is about to go on in these last two episodes for the first half of season one, I am very much intrigued, very excited to see how this is going to conclude for a first half and such. But yeah, this was a really interesting episode, especially with the fact that once again, Jonas is back in here. Um, he's being kind only really because his uncle... Excuse, excuse me. Only because his uncle is basically making him. But of course, if he loses to On, mm -hmm. it's not going to be good in the world of Jonas, <laughs> which is going to be sad for him. But truly, we won't know until the next couple of weeks. But other than that, guys, that is my action view towards episodes 9 and 10 of Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day to the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes 11 and 12. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.